What's up, y'all? It's your boy JT of MAK, just 10 more minutes, aka the freaking 10, back again with another one. Now, I'm probably going to mispronounce the band's name, but I would say Brimir. Uh, kind of like Brimstone, but Brimir. Uh, but I could be wrong, it could be Brimire. Uh, I don't know. Slayer of Gods. This is one that came in um, as a request, so I was like, okay, I'll check it out. Now, I didn't see a video for it, um, but it is what it is. I listen to tracks like this all the time. It allows me to focus on the music, the lyrics, and all that without the distraction of, you know, a video. So with that being said, let's check it out. Music is solid so far. So I'll back it up just a second here. And so blood poured out of wrath, despair and doubt now left to die. The night cursed the sun, restraints of fury undone, left alone in silence untold, left beheaded my statues and thrones. Rain driving the needles of fate, my hands unveiled remain unseen. I cover the skies, I sharpen my hate, I close my eyes and face the storm beyond. Beyond the crimson dawn, the flame reveal far away the stars. One thing you shall know, the silence conquers all. The music is good. I have no problems with the music. The music is solid. And I don't, actually, I don't have a problem with... <clears throat> his growl because you can clearly understand what he's saying. You know, I, I I've said it many of times, you know, I don't like a lot of the growls just because they're so damn inaudible, but this one, I, I am understanding exactly what he's saying. Is it my type of music? No, but lyrics are good. Vocals are okay. Music is, I actually, I really like the music and the way they did that chorus of Beyond the Crimson Dawn, the flames reveal far away the stars with that kind of choir-esque. Oh, that was nice. 
yeah, there's a lot of little things in this little bitty, you know, kind of nuances that they've done. Make it enjoyable. Let's keep going. I'm intrigued. Okay, so let me stop there because this this is why I do my channel the way I do it, quite honestly. Because, you know, a lot of these bands, and it doesn't mean that by me going and telling you this stuff, you're going to automatically go listen to the band because it might not be your think type of music. But what I do this for is for these bands like this that the common person may not be into. And when I say common, if you go look at the majority of the music out there, it's that mainstream crap that's out there, right? But they may not understand the stories or the depth of the lyrics that these guys write because they don't give it a fair shake. That's why I do the channel the way I do it. I gaze upon the void, a murdered world, a tainted soul. I am beast, the slayer of gods. Yet why do I feel this pain? I wish not to see and never to feel, but in freedom run through the landscapes to serve nothing but this hate has it, all but consumed in me vain. In vain do whispers call, silence screaming in the dark. The starlight skies ablaze like the sun, it burns through my heart. Facing proud the storm, through the pain I saw, the silence conquers all, and so I fall. That rolls so cleanly as you say it. As a lyricist, these are damn good lyrics. I like these. Is the music my favorite type? Nope. But what has me intrigued are the lyrics that they're putting out. Like that in itself, the way it just flows, the way they're mixing the scream with the, the choir, that's entertaining to me. That that gets me to go, okay, what are they going to do next? Even though it's not my type of music. But as a lyricist, I have to respect this because it's these are freaking good lyrics. Just the, the story, and, and I've said it a thousand times. I'll continue to say it because, well, it's my channel and I say what I want. Take this and just read this in an open mic night. Ever spoken word. And you will get... You know, probably some weird looks just because of the topic, but I mean, the way it comes off, I gaze upon the void, a murdered world, a tainted soul. I am the beast, the slayer of gods. Yet why do I feel this pain? I wish not to see and to never feel, but in, but in freedom run through the landscapes to serve nothing, but this and hate has it all but consumed in me vain. That almost feels like you're reading a piece of a, a beautiful poem from like an Edgar Allan Poe, you know, or, or Guido Massupin who wrote the monkey's paw. I think it was, um, or some kind of story like that, that that's what intrigues me. And, and why I do these songs is to find little gems like this. I really, 
I am enjoying the lyrics. Music, again, it's not my favorite. The music's solid, but these lyrics are badass. I like these. Let's keep going. This is fascinating. Okay, so normally an eight minute and 39 second song would lose my attention halfway through, if even halfway. 
Do I think the song was too long? I can't say no. Excuse me. I can't say yes. Because it chalked up visions in my head. And I've said this about many times, right? Whether it's with the warning, Nightwish, Sabaton, any of those. If you can get my mind working and picturing of how this could be built into a visualization, I'm good with it. Regardless of what I think of the screams or anything like that. And I'll tell you this right here. I'll tell you what I was imagining through. You know what? Instead, let me go through the, the last part of the lyrics, then I'll tell you. Beyond even the stars in a far more distant horizon, where even a whisper is louder than thunder, I viewed an invincible tyrant. In a madness of drums and unfathomable deaths, I caressed that fiery emptiness. I held it in my fist, and I was not humbled. My soul found its way home. Beyond the vast distance, I heard the stars, bound by these chains of man. A beast I am. No, no, no more. I see all the worlds we've undone in my hands futile, tried to grasp something tangible. God send, awaken to our void, alone. A world of bones where blind men dwell, flames feast on the sheen of a wishing well. Moments of kings and tyrants and hell, a dead man whose tales I tell. So to the crows I yield my flesh, my spirit torn in pains worse than death. The bells, the bells, the bells they groan. I atone and accept there is only despair. Those are brilliant freaking lyrics. So I'm picturing this. You know, in some of those Broadway plays that you see where, you know, you've got these kind of giant painted scenes, right? And as they're changing scenes and the lights go dark or even during the scene, you know, you've got the crews behind pulling them out and putting them together. I seriously imagined this being you've got smoke on the ground. You've got, you know, the, this beast this creature this man whatever you want to represent it you know going through these struggles right of being this beast and then a beast no more and then ultimately you know my spirit is torn or excuse me to the to the crows i yield my flesh and you think about this beast falling right and i atone and accept you know the despair but i just had these these scenes coming in of these people bringing these backdrops in, you know, as the song is playing, it wouldn't have to be a long scene, but it's just, that's what was going through my head. And to get that type of thought process where I, I kind of, I'm listening, but I'm visualizing. You got me hooked. Not my type of music, but damn, they tell a good story. Wow. That's a damn good story. I'm glad I listened to this. That's going to do it for this one. Let me know what other ones by these guys you want me to do, because I'll, I'll gladly do it. I, I like these guys. For their stories. Music? Okay. Not my type, but damn, they tell good stories. Whew. All right. Let me know. Y'all know who I am, what I'm about. I'm JTMM. Like, subscribe, and share. I'm out.